What's up guys, Newbrook here and welcome back to another episode of Feed the Beast Unleashed and I've got a little, little friend with me here um, I'm trying to push him down into the old quarry site um, because I don't want him walking around here he's, he's kind of making me a little bit afraid so could you please move on? yeah, move, move, oh there we go Bye bye. No, no, down there. There we go. Good night. Anyways, guys, welcome back. So, wow, there's gonna spawn monsters here. I need some torches. I need some torches, and I need them now. Please, like W T F. Um, yeah. So finally, I have this awesome Fiddy B server on a hosted on a server so that means that the chunk loaders and everything is gonna be working 24 7 like this quarry will be going on non-stop it won't stop simple as that it just won't stop oh i already had torches in my inventory i'm just being lazy today being lazy today so yeah, pretty much uh, everything is just gonna be staying on working 24 seven. And that means that we are going to get more resources, which also means that we are going to be doing a lot of more fun together, guys. But today I have something exciting for you. Okay. Um, I'm going to show you a little bit of a mod pack that we are going to work a little bit with on in Unleashed. I'm sorry about my English there, it messed up. But anyways, um, let's clear out my in inventory. We can put you there. I'll just try and clear out everything uh, to the... Yeah, to the... <laughs> I don't know what to say. To the chest that it belongs to. I can have wood there, I guess. No, I'm not. Um, yeah. There we go, there we go. 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 And the rest here. Ah, who cares? Anyways, we are going to have a look at the dart craft. And what does dart craft give us? Let's see if I actually can go by mods. Mod D. Computer craft? No? I'm looking for mod craft. No, I mean dart craft. Well, let's see. Um. How do I use this? Not forestry, not IC2, mod, not bibliocraft. It's called dartcrafts. However, it doesn't seem like this thing works like perfectly. But what it is, it gives us force. It gives us force things. Uh, Pretty much all of these items comes with dart craft. So what we are going to start off with is taking out some forest ingots. Let's see. I do believe we have some. Oh, we have some forest gem. That that's good enough. So um, in order to make a forest ingot, you need any other metal like iron or gold. You can use refined iron, bronze, um, silver, yeah, you see, any sort of metal, pretty much. And the better the metal, you get more. So with gold, you get three, and with iron, you get two. But for this time, we are going to use iron. I'm just gonna cook this up. Um, iron, do we have any iron? We do. Okay, so let's, let's make a few. So... What you do is just put it in here and we'll give it three fours. There we go. Now we have six fours in ingots. Now, what you want to do, starting right off, you want to make a fours rod. This one right here. Um, in order to make this one, uh, you have to get the four stick. But you can't get the four stick just yet. We need to create 
the bad one first. So how you do that is make a forest nugget and have a stick. I'm sorry, <laughs> my hiccup. Okay, so there we have the forest nugget. Now let's get a stick. You all know how to get a stick, I hope. So let's place the stick there, a nugget there, and an ingot there. Now we have the forest rod. So, I'll show you something cool. Um, if you take this oak sapling right here. Um, yeah. We'll go outside. Um, I do want some bone meal as well. Because I'm going, going to show you something pretty, pretty cool. Now let's hope that I do have some bones. Doesn't look like it. Doesn't look like it. Oh, we already have some force shards. That that's good. That's good. I'm gonna show you that later, and we are going to make some force charge as well. So hopefully there is something here. Wow! Look at this machine. It's it's going off. It's going off. We can take those apples. Um, yeah. Okay. We need somehow. We need to get a. A bone. We need a bone. So let's head out. Um, most likely there isn't any skeleton here. No, there isn't. Anyways, I'll show you guys how this works. Um, if I plant this one about here, and I'll use the force rod on it. Kaboom! It l lost one durability though. But anyways, we do have the force sapling. Now, if we just had a bone, um, we could uh, make some bone meal and, yeah, make that one grow right away because we really need that. Give me, give me a skeleton, please. This is like the first time I've ever been looking at skeleton, looking for skeletons. Um, yeah. Once I find it, I'm gonna show you what we can do. I don't want to talk to you. Um. Skeleton. Okay, maybe we will find some four. There's a force ore right there. Um, those you can mine and get all from two to four force gems from that one. Okay, I'm having some mad endermans on me. But there's a skeleton, so let's have a blast killing him. If I just can reach him. Oh, god damn. I'm having a little bit of trouble now. We can fix that by going here, I think. Let's see if that skeleton still hunts us. It wasn't that clever of me going down here, but I guess we can fix it. There we are. Okay, so there we have the bones that we needed. Now, let's teleport out of here. I think we can do that. Let's see. Waypoint. No, I didn't make any waypoint. <laughs> I lost them after transferring the server. So let's try and get up again. Without too much harm, please. Without too much harm. Okay, get away. Oh, we are in trouble here, guys. We are in trouble. Okay, I'm sorry, but I need to do it. I need to just get out of here. I'm sorry, I'm not, I know I'm sort of cheating, but it's not that bad. I'm, I'm just, just trying to show you an epic mod. It's okay, it's okay. It's, it's just me showing an epic mod. Now, where is our house? It's over there. Okay, so let's just sleep and we'll have a look at it. Game mode zero. Good. Let's run back home and sleep. Then I'll show you the force sapling doing its work. So, have a good night, and I'll take a zip of this Red Bull. Oh yeah, so tasty. Now, let's go back and let's kill you. Let's assist you in a kill. You are not gonna touch the waters. Neither are you going to touch my farm. Die, skeleton, die. Okay. Four bones, that should be enough. Let's see. Let's run over to our four sapling over there and let's have a blast. Okay, so this is the forest tree. 
it's pretty good and we are going to make a farm for these because we really need them. We are going to make a similar farm like this just outside here. But I'll show you guys how epic this tree is. Now you do get saplings of it pretty easy. There's one. Um, it's supposed to give you easy saplings. Well, with these saplings anyways, the four saplings, you can make the harvesting machine, which we are going to do, like I already told you. Um, let's just clear all of these. Hopefully I'll get another one as well, because it's pretty good with saplings. Actually, I'll just put it down. There we go, there's another one. I'll put you right there. These are so nice trees. You really need them in this mod pack. See, I told you, you do get a lot of saplings from these guys. Um, anyways, here is the tree. I'm sorry, I don't have a... Uh, yeah. Yeah. Axe right now, but it'll go quick. You, you can handle this. Now... Okay, one more, one more. Now, you have the forest logs. Let's go inside again. And I'll show you guys. Something neat. We are going to make the... Not the planks. We are going to make... What? What? Okay. Then we need to make the planks. And there's... What? This is really bugged because... Then how do you make the four stick? That's what I told you to do. But it's bugging. It's bugging out. That means... That this mod pack unleashed is bugged. That, that's bad, that's bad. But anyways, then I guess we can go in shit mode and just put it out. Did I give myself one of them? There we go. Recipe mode. Anyways, there we have it. Now, let's have a look at something else. One, two. Let's make a obsidian. Now, what we want to do is to make uh, a room. Let's take uh, this one. And where's my drill? There it is. Now, let's go downstairs and have a look. I guess we could go like down here. Like behind here, I guess we could go. Here, yeah, this is gonna be good. If I'll place this one there, no, not you. Oh, the diamond drill is slow. Please charge it. Thank you. Um, yeah, so let's place the obsidian right there and let's use this one. Now, yeah, it has three uses. Now we got the force infuser. Now, what you could do is just add some force gems into there and you'll automatically get liquid force. However, this is not the best way to do it. You really want the squeezer. I'll show you that later. So, it says you need the upgrade tome. Now, I'll show you how to make this. It's pretty simple. We just need a book, but we need to create the book first. So, let's have a look. Book. Pretty simple. Papers and leather. Do we have that already? I think we might have those. Do the leather? Where's the sugar canes? Oh, I don't see them. Not in there. It's not in here either. So let's just go outside and pick up some sugar canes. I know we have them. So. Bam. 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 Okay, that, that's going to be enough. So... Let's make a book. Let's have a blast making a book. So I believe it's like that. And there we go. And I'm not going to use everything. What? 
Isn't that the way you make it? No. Sorry for my stupidity. That's how we make it. Now, what you want to do is just throw it on the ground and use the force rod. Okay, boom. There you also saw the force rod being destroyed and turned into a force chard. This is going to make us Minecraft jewels. Now, I'll show you how to use that in a second. Now, first, we already have the upgrade tome. Now, let's go down to our force room. And let's put the upgrade tome into there. Now, can you read the upgrade tome? No, you can't. Now, let's put it there. Now you see it, the red bar is gone. Now, what you could do is use this little thing right here to enchant things. You can enchant force sword, for example. You can you can enchant, enchant this thing. However, there's some bugs that I have no idea how to fix. But I guess we will find it out sooner or later. But right at the moment, we can't do it. So what I think we're gonna do is, I, I can even show you guys of me doing it. I'll farm the trees and get the forest logs done. And then I'll throw the forest logs into the lava and then I'll spawn the sticks. I can do that if that's okay with you. So please comment down below because of the bug with the mod pack. Is it okay if I farm the forest logs the original way? And because you can't craft the four stakes, which you are supposed to do. Is it okay that I throw these into the lava and spawn myself the spawn sticks? No, the four sticks. Hopefully that's okay with you so we can continue on this mod pack. Now, what you guys saw is the force engine. That's this little thing. Now, let's go ahead and make it. It's really good. And I'll show you guys why. So, first off, you need a piston. It's like creating the original engines if you are used with um, any mod pack like Fiddy Beast and Tech It and all that. You need engines, you need redstone engines, sterling engines, steam powered engines, and everything the normal way. Now, we do want some more iron. Here's our iron. We got enough iron. Now, let's make a few more of these. Now, let's make 24. There we go. 28. Okay. Never mind me. Um, there we go. Now, we need some sticks. We can take some wood. I'll actually throw you in there so we can make some more coal. Because that's nice. Nice. It's nice having coal, okay? Yeah. It's not just me, okay? Well, I I'm being kind of silly today. I'm sorry, guys. But bear with me. Bear with me. I'm going somewhere, okay? So let's make two of these wood gears. Now we also need some cobble. Do we have any cobble? We don't have cobble. Okay, let's mine some cobble then. We can do that. Simple task. Easy job. Easy win. Let's go. <laughs> okay, now we'll put the wood gear in and we'll create the stone gears. Now we need two of those. Easy. Now make the forest gears. Easy, easy, easy. Now we also need some glass. So let's see, do we have any glass? We do. Thank you. The piston, the forest gams the glass and the two force gears that for makes the force engine now what do we want to do with this one I'll show you let's go down here and we can place the force engine right next to it well this is may not be the most effective way of doing it because, yeah, you want Minecraft jewels. I don't think you can use EU for this. I don't think you can. But it might be. Don't kill me if you can, okay? So, we are going to use the Force engine. Now, 
I'm not sure how this thing quite works. So let's try. Let's give it a force chart. That makes liquid force. Okay. Can we put in those? Yes, we can. Now, let's fill that one up. There we go. Now, he probably wants us to give him a redstone signal. So let's try that. This is the first time me of me using it, so don't kill me. There we go. And it's on. It's working. Now, it is producing Minecraft Yules pretty efficient. Let's say that. It, it's working pretty good. It's making 100 Minecraft Yules every second or so. That's pretty good. At least I think so. How much liquid force does it use? Not much. This is a pretty, pretty good machine. As you guys can see, um, if we take a look at the Sterling engines that we already have, like these, you place coal into them and they make like Minecraft Yules. I can show you how horrible those are. Now with Dartcraft, they're just awesome. They're like the new upgraded Sterling engines doing the same thing. So let's put some coal in it. Let's have a look. Let's compare these. Let's see. And I'll give you a redstone signal. Now, you are working, aren't you? No. Oh my god. It's terrible watching this, isn't it? Look how slow it is. Now, let's let's go and take a look at this table over here. How much do you have? Oh, he already has 6252. Wow! Look at this little thing. How much do you have? How much do you have? Whoa, oh, almost 2,000. Now, let's go. Let's go down and see again. How much do you have? Oh, already generated 1,000 Minecraft jewels. What a beautiful machine. How much did you use? Oh, just 200 liquid force. Now, how, how awesome isn't that? That's just awesome. And also, I do think this machine is pretty smart. It's gonna stop producing when this one is full. I think. I think it's a pretty smart mod. So, that was pretty much the first episode that I'm going to tell you guys about Dartcraft. If you really enjoyed it, please tell me in the comment section down below. And the next episode going out on Friday will be a little more into-depth guide with Dartcraft. We are going to use the Dartcraft mod a lot in the future. So, I just want to tell you guys a bit basic about what we are going to do as we are going to use a lot of this to create Minecraft Yules uh, the power that these guys need so I'm gonna turn you off because you are horrible my friend so yeah make sure to leave a like rating subscribe if you haven't already excuse me for my horrible English I'm Norwegian and I'm trying to learn how to pronounce every single word correctly so thank you for watching, subscribe, follow me on Twitter, follow me on Instagram, all that good shit, and I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Thanks and bye. <laughs>